Hello and welcome! In this quick tutorial, we'll show you how to fix foot sliding issues from the AI motion capture results. Correcting these subtle imperfections can greatly enhance the overall motion quality and make your animation feel much more grounded and realistic. Let's start by comparing the original footage with the raw mocap result. Even in the unedited motion, you can see it has already captured nearly all the major movements and timing from the dancer in the video. From a closer view though, a few minor foot sliding issues stand out that we can easily fix to make the performance look more polished and convincing. The first issue occurs just before the 360 degree turn. The right foot isn't firmly planted, and as she begins the turn, the foot acting as the pivot slides slightly across the floor. Addressing this will make the spin feel more grounded and realistic. When it comes to adjusting footsteps, it's common to use the Align feature we discussed in previous videos. However, in this case, the dance steps are frequent and closely spaced, making it impractical to align each one individually. Fortunately, iClone offers another powerful feature called Motion Correction that can handle this much more efficiently. Let's take a look at how it works. The first step is to right-click and select the range between the in and out points on the timeline. Then, Right-click again to open the Motion Correction panel. For this example, we'll use the normal standing preset. We might need to fine-tune a few parameters later in the Parts Settings section, but for now, let's apply the default settings and see how it performs. Once applied, you'll notice keys and footprints being generated. The keys represent when corrections were set on the timeline, and the footprints show where the feet are locked to the floor. As we scrub through the timeline, we can see that in some areas the feet appear too sticky, causing distortion, especially when there's rotation involved. To fix this, lower the threshold value to 2, so the correction becomes less rigid. Since we want to update the results completely, enable Clear Last Correction Result and click Correct. Now we can see a clear improvement. To make further refinements, go to the timeline to locate the reach targets for the feet. Move to around frame 720, where the issue occurs, and find the reach L foot track and the left foot constraint in the scene manager. Since the left foot is rotating at that point, there's no need for a reach constraint there, so we can simply delete that constraint to fix the issue. Finally, we can see a slight twitch on the left foot as it lands. To smooth that out, move the start of the reach key earlier, so the transition feels more natural and fluid. Now, let's take a look at another example involving a foot contact issue. As we can see, her right foot should be on its toe with the heel slightly lifted off the ground. To fix this, open the Edit Motion Layer panel and set keys to enclose the problematic area roughly between frames 120 and 320. Adjust her ankle rotation to match the correct angle as shown in the reference footage. However, you'll notice that her toes now penetrate the ground. To correct this, go to the Modify panel and, under Contact Options, check the Foot option. This will automatically make her toes react to the ground level and form proper contact. It may slightly change the ankle angle, so lift the leg and fine-tune the rotation as needed. Repeat this process across the range and toggle the foot contact option on and off to see how drastically it improves the toe angle with just a single checkbox. Once the toes are properly aligned, we can fix the leg pivot using reach target to lock her toe to a specific point on the floor. Go to the animation menu, open the reach target panel, and click select target and keep current pose, then pick her toe. You'll see it's now locked in place, but we only need to maintain the position not the full rotation. Uncheck Rotation and Translation Z, and then set a release point right before her foot lifts off. 
Likewise, we can lock her left foot in the same way, select her left ankle, and this time click Create Dummy. Also, check position for the constraint. As expected, her foot is now firmly planted on the floor by the constraint. Repeat the same for the right foot to complete the setup. And there you have it, a clean, grounded motion with accurate foot contact and stability. With just a few simple adjustments, you can quickly eliminate foot sliding and achieve a much more natural motion with minimal effort. That wraps up this quick tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. See you in the next one.